So I've just had a little knock on this one and it is 10 yards in front of me. Here it comes. Now this is exciting. Whatever it is, it's just in front of me on a big bait. Ooh. Loss. It's got a 6 one, one ratio, so it's got a really fast retrieve. And I've used this one for years and years on the rocks, uh, deep rock marks. It's good for winching up fish. Uh, reasonable distance casting as well. And I've also used and abused it on the kayak. Um, I really thoroughly recommend these. So what we've got here, this is for the multiply rod. We've got a 4-0 hook and quite a small section of squid there. This is actually frozen and all I'm going to do, I want to hit, obviously I want to get this um, hook point sitting proud of the squid and then I'm going to wrap it uh, with the bait elastic and I've actually made some of these up which is a lot easier um, if you do it the night before. So there's different ways of doing this um, depending on how frozen it is and how big it is. If you can actually get the hook right the way through. I push through the middle and then you wrap it you want the wrap on the hook point side it takes off quite easy this elastic which is what I prefer to so keep the juices in it'll still keep the squid on the hook another thing you can do is thread the line through in and out with the hook shown that on a previous video but just for today this is a real simple uh, way of just hooking a little bit of squid really for today it's a little bit of squid on there 4 -oh hook we're using our um, proper pulley rigs using the proper pulley on that so as I set up for today's session nothing too exciting this week but I hope it gives a realistic view of an, an average sea fishing day down on the south coast here and this continental rod comes with me all the time now uh, I thoroughly love it it's it's been brilliant along with the bulletproof pen surf blaster as well Just using braid here, 50 pound all the way through. No need for a leader on the continental rod, particularly in these conditions. So on the continental rod, we've got a 130 gram uh, lead. It's quite calm out there today. Very calm actually. Um, and then this is a three hook flapper, no surprises. So we're into December now. I normally uh, get on a dry suit or a flotation suit, but it's slightly milder today, right, so no need for the real cold weather gear. It might come out in the next few weeks. So. As I've often said on here, I don't profess to know everything. There are certainly a lot better anglers out there than me. But hopefully this will raise a few talking points today. And I'd love you to join in with some comments. Now the good thing about these continental rods is that they will register the tiniest of bites. Just had a really gentle knot. Now even though that that's, that's at a reasonable distance, about 80 yards I suppose, even still there's a tiny little tap on that, and that could be a rockling. Whereas a whiting uh, would be a lot more significant bite than that. See, it's got a very gentle sort of movement on it. It's that rattle that we're looking for. Meanwhile, on the other rod, that one there, nothing at all. That's the big squid bait that's literally dropped 10 meters out, if that. 
you know what I'm after for that. That one's more like a whiting bite. I always think when you get a good rattle like that, is it worth bringing it straight in or just waiting a little bit? There's definitely a fish hooked on there. They're quite a small hooks, so I'm going to give it a go, reel it in. Well, this does not feel like a whiting. As you can tell by the swearing, I lost it. That wasn't a whiting. It had a really sort of weird thudding. As you look back now, this is uh, the actual rattle it gave. I thought that was a whiting. Not so sure once I had it on. Could have been something foul hooked maybe. Oh well, you live and learn. And it is 10 yards in front of me. Here it comes. Now this is exciting. Whatever it is, it's just in front of me on a big bait. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> there's something quite big on the big bait, close in. So I've got right down, just so I can feel it. It's not hooked yet. <laughs> I wonder what it is. Could be a bass. Could be a little conger. <laughs> it's right under my feet but it doesn't feel hooked 
Now the question is, do I strike at the hook or is it just nibbling the end? literally just down there. I could see it if the conditions were clearer. Next little rattle I have I'm going to try and pull into it, see if I can get it set in the hook, see if I can get the hook set. So, annoyingly, we've missed two decent fish, really. We had one on a continental rod that I brought all the way in, and then it got off at the last moment. Remember, that's with those smaller size two hooks. And then on the multiplier rod, um, something that was literally 10 foot away, and I could feel it through the slack line, but it just didn't hook on a squid. Just goes to show how frustrating sea fishing can be sometimes. Two decent fish lost there. So over on the community tab at Saltwater Angler, uh, just wanted to talk about the what you might have found inside fish before. Um, there's been some great comments inside the whiting we caught today was obviously that sort of small miniature whiting I think it was. Um, whereas I can't really beat fat, fat Fish 68 who found a, a dildo in a cod stomach. 100% true? What do you reckon? <laughs> um, Joe Daniels was talking about the treble hook inside a bass as well. And interestingly, I've got a feeling the British record bass or the once British record bass from the southern breakwater also was found with a treble hook inside it. Uh, so keep these comments coming, whether they're on the community tab or whether they're underneath here. And do let us know what you think the fish was I met, I left. And I'm always interested to know what you think as well. As I've said before, I don't have all the answers. Um, and it's great to have everyone involved and we can all sort of learn together. Um, so let us know what you think that big fish might have been that was just off the beach there. Uh, it was certainly something a bit bigger than those whiting. Once again, thanks very much for watching.